Welcome to Synthesize This. In this episode, we will be synthesizing a snare drum on the Dave Smith Instruments Pro 2. Let's get started. So as usual, the first thing we want to do is initialize a basic patch. So we go to global, scroll to 34 and hit right now. So first, a little bit of theory about snare drums. What we're trying to synthesize is to simulate the two heads of the snare drum and the snare underneath it. We will use white noise for the snare and sine oscillators for the two for the top and bottom head. So let's get started. On oscillator one, we will pick white noise. And then we will shape the amp envelope to mimic that of a snare. So we want a really quick attack, no sustain, and then we'll play with the uh, decay and release accordingly. And the next thing we want to do is simulate the sort of top head. So in oscillator two, we'll pick a sine oscillator and we're going to turn off key tracking so that we can set a consistent pitch no matter where we play on the keyboard. I'm going to pick G4 as the pitch and bring up the volume. So already we have sort of a snare sounding sound. We're gonna pick another noise source on oscillator three. Let's go for violet, why not? Crank up the volume. And oscillator four will be our bottom head. So we'll pick a sine oscillator again, turn off key tracking and pick some frequency higher to volume I find it works best if you pick the same general pitch and then you sort of fine tune it to just to offset the two pitches from the top and bottom head Turn on the sequencer. We can play around, add some delay to enhance the effect. Synchronize it. And we can start messing around with other parameters like the character. or add some distortion. We can even play around with changing the oscillator type for the two heads. So instead of sine, we can go triangle maybe. Of course, you can explore with any wave, but you start to drift away from a snare drum at that point. So I find it best to use uh, a wave that emits a low number of harmonics. You can also play around with the amp envelope. can even switch the high pass filter or the low pass filter
Another way to gain more control is to assign dedicated amp envelopes to the to the noise sources, for example. So let's turn off uh, the second noise source and turn down the first one as well. And we're going to use envelope 4 to modulate the volume of the noise. So I'm going to pick oscillator 1 level, crank the amount to max, and then play around with the And this way you can sort of independently shape uh, the noise from the, the sound of the head. So you can delay the no when the noise comes in or make the noise sound shorter. And you can also do that with uh, the head oscillators as well and assign individual amp envelopes to them, which gives you a little more fine-tuned control. So we can add some delay here. So you can hear that the head sound, the sort of tone sound, um, has a long release and decay, but we can make the noise independently shorter. And we can play around with the pitch to see if another pitch produces a better sound. Make sure they match. So let's try flipping it around so that the noise oscillator is controlled by the main amp envelope. And we're going to switch for the auxiliary envelope 4 to control uh, the sound of one of the heads. And we're going to lower the other one. I'm going to use amp envelope 5 to control the frequency of the, the top head so that it starts off high and peaks down low. This more realistically simulates what uh, the surface of the head would do when you hit it with a stick, is that it would vibrate at high frequencies and then damp down over time. later too. Can lower that amount. And can hear that effect. And the key is to make it subtle so you don't want to exaggerate that effect. We're gonna lower the amount of pitch modulation. And this is our amp. So as you can hear, the snare rings out loudly with the main amp envelope, which is our noise source. But the, the sine wave, which simulate, or the triangle in this case, which simulates the ringing of the top head, is controlled by these two envelopes here. Envelope 4, I've made it control the, the volume, and envelope 5, the pitch. So you get that initial quick burst of the top head which fades out quickly, and then you get the snare sort of ringing out longer over time. And you can do that independently to make the noise go longer, and vice versa. So now that we have a basic s snare sound playing, let's see what it sounds like in the context of a drum machine by pairing it with the Korg Volca beats.
Hey guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Also, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with future videos like this one. I'll see you guys later.